Okay, so we're back out here to the customer that needed the riser install. We're going to show you how to put a riser on. Harrison's going to try to get the lid off. It's going to be embarrassing. Yeah. We'll come back to that. So what you'll need is a cordless drill, sawzall, tape measure, fresh saw blades maybe, the lid, some screws, a shovel to put some dirt back in, of course your riser material. Here we went with 18 inch OD. Uh, the lid looks like it's about a 14 inch lid and we just roughed it. So we're going to put this riser in and it's going to be just below the surface so that he doesn't have to dig it up next time. Top of the bottom. You want to put the flat side down. There you go. We're going to put that in there. We're going to center it around the hole. And Harris is going to go down and mark it about an inch below grade. So take your take wet your finger mark it an inch below grade that's where you're going to cut it is that an inch below grade an inch below the surface of the ground okay yeah that's about that's about right yeah i'd say that's probably the one you want to cut yep check fitment now uh, looks like we could take just a pinch off because we got to let the lid on there oh there we go he just squeezed it down there with his weight Harrison what do you weigh I don't know probably too much all right we're gonna gently put the original lid back inside you want to set it in nice and easy because it makes it hard to get out if you let it slam in there Yep, just like that. Now we got the lid in there gently after we had to readjust. We're gonna go ahead and put the new plastic lid on top. Get that other screw. We got four screws here to hold the lid down. Uh, we're going with uh, 516 socket heads so that we can get it back out easily. Sometimes we go with a Phillips, they fill with dirt, hard to get out. Now you don't have to put the lid back inside, but the homeowner requested it, so we went ahead and did it. Um, I usually prefer not, just because sometimes they can get stuck in there. So we got the lid installed, now we're going to take the uh, shovel, we're going to backfill it equally around each side, tampering the dirt down as we go. Will be some dirt left over. Use it to fill in some holes in the yard or something like that. The goal is to get it about an inch below the surface. Enough where you don't have to stare at it, but uh, you don't have to worry about the ground freezing over it either. Grass should still grow. Should be easy to locate. You could drive over with your mower. You bump it with your car. It's not going to be the end of the world is installed we uh mounted the dirt up just a little bit so that it'll flatten out when it rains and there's just a little bit of dirt left over so there you go riser install uh harrison what I are you do doing not. i harrison what the, are you doing you knocked him over who did you did if i knocked him over harrison how come you're picking him up because i'm closer to the ground 